Old lady kills dangerous villain, sure. It comes to something when the monkey sidekick overshadows Sergei himself. Having watched Hop only a few years ago, I remember absolutely nothing about Carlos. The Wunzler was more of a villain than poor O'Hare could have ever been. Pop culture mean presence aside, O'Hare receives no character arc of his own and feels forced in the film just to tick off the antagonist box. In all fairness, each member of the Vicious Six has a cool ability. I just would have liked to learn more about each one of them individually. Minions didn't deserve Scarlet Overkill. She was one of the few great things about the first Minions film. I mean, whenever Hollywood creates a character who wants vengeance against Hollywood, I'm all ears. Brat might just be the funniest Illumination villain. Wow. Illumination went dark with this one. Jimmy Crystal is the classic crazy ruthless businessman archetype done right. Sometimes it's nice to get an antagonist who has no redeemable qualities for us to root against him. Many seem to have forgotten about El Macho, but I certainly haven't. El Macho might just be the most dangerous Illumination villain of all time. Jack Black brings his A-game when it comes to giving a terrific performance as Bowser. Even to the point where Peaches became a cultural phenomenon because of his performance. I do wonder if Bowser will become a recurring villain in the Mario franchise similar to Dr. Robotnik from the Sonic films. Illumination's first villain is still their best. Vector is such a dim-witted, entertaining villain. Hopefully there's a way to bring him back for Despicable Me 4.